Pose of Gloves here, and this is the 18th video in the Contact from the Ground Up tutorial series. And today we're going to be looking at editing samples or what are samples, zones, and groups. Because you're probably going to see this as you go along, and it's important to understand what they are. So first, once you have your contact all set up and ready to go, we are going to talk about our samples first. So these are samples. They're just external pieces of audio. You may have edited them. You may have not. They may be huge. They may be not. Uh, I recommend having, you know, individual notes and we're going to be working with kicks. So if we take a kick, drop it on there and boom, it has just been made into a zone. What does that mean? Well, contact has been told how to interpret this sample. And that's what we call the zone. So if you come to our mapping editor, you'll see that it has been mapped to this keyboard, our kick drum. And we're obviously it's using the source module to do things and it's being tracked as we already talked about. So uh, what the zone contains is it contains, you know, the note range information, the velocity, the root note, volume, all this stuff up here. It tells it how to behave. And so we're going to just center it on our root note right here because we haven't talked about the mapping editor exactly yet. So we're just going to do this. So now it's on this one note and this is a whole zone. We could add more notes, I mean more samples to create more zones. And so we have three zones right here and they are each different samples and they each contain different information. So we could change the root note for this one individually of these two to be something else. So once we've done this, we have done also, we've created a group. So these three zones form one group. And if we open up our group editor, there's a group, double click it, rename it kicks and bang. So uh, we have our kicks group. Now let's say we want to add notes that are not in our kicks group. Well, you can do that too. Go to, so once you have zones, and the reason you'd want to do this, I guess before I get ahead of myself, is you might want to process these kicks differently than other kicks. Maybe you're making some sort of sequence loop or something, and you want these kicks to be different for some reason. Different processing, different EQ, different compression, all that kind of stuff. So you do create empty group, rename it better kicks, and make sure, so a quick note, you could switch your selected groups by you know clicking on the groups themselves. The names and then you have to unclick the check mark and if you're selected on it you can't uncheck it so select it and it will uncheck the check mark and this allows you to edit only the groups in that edit all groups will allow you to make processing changes to everything but uh that could also mess up your day so we have better kicks and we're going to add some samples to just the better kicks group so if we grab some more kicks and we put them down here we'll put one there and one right here now when we play them, we'll notice that our group names will light up when we hit samples in that group. And so that's really cool. And there's all sorts of crazy ways you could go about uh, making groups interact with each other. But uh, now we have that. Now let's say we want these kicks over here to be high-passed and we want our better kicks, these two guys, to not be high-passed. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our kicks group. Then we're going to come down here. We're going to go to group insert effects and so these are the effects specific to groups and so we're going to add um, we're going to add an effect and we're going to add a filter we're going to add a high pass we're going to just do the first one and we're going to make it a little more extreme so it's more obvious and uh don't worry about this stuff too much right now we're going to cover it later so now the kicks and group this group have now individually been high pass so if we switch to our other group the high pass disappears. If you do it down here to the instrument, uh, insert effects on your instruments and stuff, it, they will not disappear. Uh, it behaves differently. So this is for the group insert effects. Okay. And the reason that is is because all your groups form an instrument. So when you put things in the instrument area, it's going to affect all your groups. So that's another thing you need to know. Versus edit all groups. Maybe for some reason you want that. Or you could select, maybe you have like six groups. You want to select just certain groups and add a specific effect to those. That's why group insert effects are cool. So anyways, let's play our notes. So these ones are high pass now, as you can see, but these ones are not. And that's really cool. So that is what you would use the groups for. We're gonna talk about groups in the next video and explain what all these menus are. But a sample, just to reiterate, is just a separate piece of audio. A zone is a separate piece of is when you've dropped a sample onto the mapping editor and it's been told how to behave by contact and it contains all this information. And then the group is 
how many zones, which zones have been assigned to which groups. And there are all sorts of cool ways of doing this, but that is that in a nutshell. Uh, and that is how you can individually process groups and make sure you're on the group insert effects. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe, and have a blessed day. Oh, my God.